should drown. Men drown accidentally all the time. That works for me. It can't look suspicious. I'm sure there'll be an opportunity. There will be. You already scout the place? I've seen enough. Let's split up. I'll meet you there. Yes, you need.
Are you Snap? Yes, I am. And you? My friends from Spain send their regards. I see. Will this require me to draw my weapon? It won't make a difference. Yes, you need your...
Took you long enough. I thought you weren't showing up. <sighs> you joke too much. Who's joking? Good. I don't like jokers. Knew a buck once at the plantation. He thought he was a joker. Had him sawed in half. <laughs> That's a great story. Did you find him? Is he alone? For now, come on. almost ruined everything. Great. No way to make this look like an accident now. I'll take care of this. You tell Mr. Avery that everything's fine. By yourself? I've made plenty of bodies disappear. A woman should be no different. You never killed a woman. I've never bothered to hide their corpses before. Thank <sharp inhale> you. 
damn. Bitch almost ruined everything. Great. No way to make this look like an accident now. I'll take... I've made... You never... I've never... Did you talk with them? I killed them all, Comandante. Ustedes un milagro. Everybody makes some mistakes at the beginning, but not you. Here is some money for your work, but it is only a small taste of what I can offer you. So, are you ready for your special price? Yes. Follow me, then. Armando! Como estas, Federico? This is the man I was telling you about, Captain Raven. Ah, see, sí, I have heard many things about you, Senor Raven, and not only from Federico. That's no surprise. He took care of those British agents, General, and we promised him a reward. Yes, of course. Captain Raven, you have proven yourself quite capable. And Federico is impressed. You have done important work for us, and Spain would like to return the favor. I would like to offer you the chance to join the SIA. What's that? The Spanish Intelligence Agency. Your position must be kept completely secret, of course. You will receive a Spanish letter of Mark, and you will work for us as a regular privateer. 
but you won't be chasing after individual chips for gold coins. Your work will be much more interesting than that. So I'll be your agent, right? Correct. All right. I'll give it a shot. I was hoping you would say that. Federico will give you information for your next assignment. Also, you can always go to Miguel for new assignments. He's right hand of San Juan's gobernador and handles his affairs personally. Talk to him, he will pay off, I assure you. I must go now, but I'm glad to meet you, Captain Raven. Welcome aboard. Um, Federico. Yes, sir. I was thinking, you have been working very hard lately and have brought us this Capitan of many talents. What would you say to a promotion? I... I'd say I take it, General. Great. Then meet me when you're done talking to Captain Raven and we will discuss it. Have you heard? I've been promoted, thanks to you. Congratulations, Commandante. To hell with Commandante. I owe you. Call me Federico, and I'll call you Raven, if you don't mind. Not at all. So, you are officially a Spaniard now. What do you think? And you? You just got promoted. Yes, I have been waiting for this day for some time now. But I am not going to stop here. I am an ambitious man. You and I can go quite far, amigo. I could be promoted too. Of course, Raven. <laughs> I mean, you won't ever become a general, but we have ways of promoting a man like you. Don't you worry. I was wondering, what exactly is a letter of mark? It's a letter that means you can attack ships in the name of the Spanish crown and keep the profits for yourself. But in your case, this letter is more to help maintain your cover. I hope I'll make some profit from it. Ha! Money is the first thing on your mind, as always. General Armando said you had some work for me. Yes, I have a minor task for you. A small fleet of ships is currently blocking the approach to our port in Kumana. Could you please have a talk with them? Talk? Destroy them, amigo. Not now, Federico. I'll see you later.
I must confess that I have high expectations, Christopher. We must not transgress against piety. I fear I shall have to say more prayers than usual tonight. Then you can add the Patriarch's family to your prayers as well. Sadly, his family is dead. Ah, that is truly saddening. I shall ask the Lord to receive them with open arms. The rebellion at Kensington's happens now. No more waiting. Absolutely, Christopher. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. What dogs? Oh, forgive me, please. I let the moment fill me with pride, I'm afraid. Thank heavens for your straightforward nature that has prevented the sin. I merely meant to say that you may unleash your slave companions any time you please. It's about time. Perfect. Take this, please. It's where your friends can find their weapons. I shall pray for your complete and utter success. Oh, uh, and, and there is something else you've been waiting to hear. It concerns Mr. Neville. You found out where he is? You will learn everything upon your return, Christopher. I have promised to lead you to Mr. Neville, and my word is my bond. I'll be back soon. Farewell, Christopher.
haven't seen any signs of danger. It worries me, Marcus. Tutula is having visions. His dreams are filled with flames. Ah, oh, Tutuala. Chris! Marcus, coffee. We're set. Everything's ready. If you are. Kensington, finally. We've been ready for a long time. Now we strike. Then this is it for Kensington. Your partner Avery has broken him, and now we end him. Not yet. I'll slit his throat soon enough. And don't you forget who will be holding the blade. I won't forget, but I'm curious. Kensington will live to see the morning, but still, you are happy. Do you look forward to the chance to kill this much? It's just not that. Avery knows where Neville is. After this, so will I. I see. There's nothing I can say that would make you stop this mad chase, is there? <laughs> are you serious? I didn't give up when I was half dead from poison. You think I'd give up now? When I'm this close? I know you won't, Chris. That's what worries me. You worry too much, old man. Everything is coming together. Tonight, your people will have their revenge. I'll have my own soon enough. Yes. I'll have to go with Kofi and the others. Do you want to join us? I'll meet you at Kensington's plantation. I'll see you there. A man I knew trusted a white devil once. The devil sold him after breaking his legs. A man cannot escape on crippled legs. He can still mill sugar cane dough. My people are ready, Chris. Time to go. Let's take care of the guards outside first. Then we'll meet with the first of Kingsington's slaves. Their elder knows me. Fine. Make sure to tell them what I told Coffee. Kensington's got to survive today. Finally, let's free the first of the slaves. Why so grim, Marcus? Enjoy your revenge? This isn't revenge, Chris. This is justice. Call it whatever you want. I'm just happy to be using my blades. Come on, I'll tell the slaves their freedom is here. All right.
I'm here to finish our business. Where's Avery? Inside. Waiting for you. Come. So he finally found out how to get to Neville. There are very few things that escape Mr. Avery's attention. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent. Christopher, once again your timing is impeccable. I don't have much time. Where is he? Come now, Christopher. My tastes are simple and my needs are few, but your gift of Mr. Kensington's fate has been so satisfying. Now that it's over, I'd like to savor it for a moment, like a glass of fine wine, if you will. It's not over yet. Kensington is still breathing. Of course, of course, as we agreed. I'll need him alive no longer than a month. Then he's yours. Haven't you already taken over his position? 
Why keep him alive at all? The patriarchs have embraced me, yes. But a few matters still must be settled before the finale. These are delicate subjects. Some events needn't be pushed. Wouldn't want your new friends to get upset. Have you asked their permission to kill him yet? Killing him now would hardly be sporting anyway, Christopher. I hear he has barely a man left by his side now, and has been spending his days sitting on a porch, silent, like a broken piece of furniture. A toast to the present, and a bright future. Hmm. I'll pass. Oh, that's not for you. I know your palate runs in a different direction. I'm expecting someone quite soon. Well then, if you just tell me where Neville is, I'll get out of your way. Of course, not to worry. I'm a man of my word. My exact word may sometimes change, but my word does not. If I recall, I said I would lead you to Captain Neville Scranton. But you've been so useful to us, I've decided to save you some legwork, pirate. Of course you do. Glad to see someone's enjoying themselves. I hope this means Marcus is working on a plan to get me out of here. So this is the man who plans to kill me, eh? Oh, you're a feisty one. They told me a rather brutal man has been hunting me. They didn't mention he's some kind of mad dog. I thought for sure I'd recognize you, but no, I've never seen you before in my life. Although you do look familiar, tell me, who did I kill to inspire such passion in you? I'll tell you as I rip your belly open with my hook. Well, how interesting. As much as I'd like to see a man accomplish a goal he set forth for himself, I'm afraid you'll be quite dead soon. Has no one mentioned that you're to be hung? Uh, why don't you let me out of here if you're so curious? The two of us can have a long chat. Or is the great Neville Scranton beaten so easily? On the contrary, you've already been very helpful to me. Getting rid of Kensington was a necessary chore, but I've just been so busy lately. You filled in nicely. Uh, so Weaver was working for you the entire time. Ah, you're not just a flailing cutlass after all. Yes. Kensington thought himself quite indestructible since his political career began to blossom. I'm afraid he'd forgotten who helped him gain his little slice of power. So you have him destroyed. And here I thought you two were so close, like blood brothers. It seems like you've certainly spilled enough together. You do remind me of someone. It's absolutely maddening. Are you sure you don't want to tell me who you are? Ah? Huh? Well, no matter. I suppose I'll have to be content knowing you're dead. Farewell. And thanks again for all your hard work.
Neville! I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Goodbye. Chris, thank God. Marcus? How did you... First, let's get you out of there. Oh, there. Guess you haven't come alone. Every Maroon in St. John has helped. My people are indebted to you. As soon as we found out what happened, we came this way. Thanks. Are you all right? Nothing that killing Avery won't fix. Avery should have killed you when he had the chance. He won't live to regret his mistake. And what about Neville? I need to kill two men tonight. One of them has to know about Neville, but I think I'll torture them both, just to be sure. Marcus told us you would follow that course. I spoke to my people. We're ready to move against Avery as soon as you give the word. Kensington will be easy. He's a broken man. Avery may be more difficult. He's in a much stronger position than he was before. But he's not expecting anything, isn't he? With the slaves we freed, our numbers are greater than ever. <laughs> and of course, we will still have the weapons he gave us. <laughs> I'm sure there's a fitting quote in the Bible somewhere. We're ready to move any time. I take it you're not waiting for rest. I told Avery once that I'd rest in hell. Bet he didn't figure I'd be sending him there first. Then let us go. Meet me at his plantation. I need to check on the ship and my men first. <laughs> 